Hello, my name is Nancy Strickland, and in the next seven minutes, I'm going to talk about adding globalization and localization support to your Windows 7 phone applications. Globalized applications are apps that can target multiple cultures. Globalizing your application means that it can be marketed more widely around the world, and Windows Phone 7 has several ways to help you globalize. They're pretty much the same as with other Microsoft technologies, so if you're already familiar with globalization in the .NET framework, then this is going to be just what you expect. Users have expectations about how the user interface should look. For example, obviously they want to see labels and data in their own language, and they'd like to see dates formatted the way they're used to, like day, month, year, instead of month, day, year, if that's the standard way in their country. And they expect the local symbol used for currency, like the euro instead of the dollar sign. Even calendars can be different, because different countries use a different day for the first day of the week. And it can also affect things like sort order, because different languages handle that differently. A culture in the coding sense means a group of settings that are appropriate for a particular user group based on what language they speak and what country they're located in. A culture in that sense is represented by five double-quoted characters. Here's some examples. The first two characters of our culture is the language, and then there's a dash, and the second part is the country. Culture Info is a class that you use to work with cultures. It can get or set the current culture for a particular device, for a particular phone. And the user can also see or set the current culture in the hardware. Localization is the process you use to make an application work for another culture. That involves more than just formatting dates and currency. It means translating strings and labels and messages and actually potentially quite a bit more work. Things like making the input boxes longer for certain languages, for example. That's a pretty big topic and I'm going to give you a link to more information on it at the end of the video. For now, let me just briefly explain that in Windows Phone 7, you can create and save your string resources for your labels, for example, separately from your code. Then in your code, you just put a reference to the source of the resources, and that means that you can easily switch the whole app over to a different set of resources for a different culture without changing the rest of the code. Globalization and localization changes are usually conditional depending on how the phone user sets the culture they want to use which I'm going to show you next. I'll start a new project using this template which was installed when I followed the instructions in the Getting Started video which is part of this same series. First I'll run the emulator so I can show you how the user would change the current culture on the phone hardware so that it's the culture that the user prefers. And I'm saying would because I'm going to show you this not on an actual hardware phone, but on the software emulator that works with Visual Studio 2010. And in the beta version that I'm using, you can't actually change the culture. You can do the steps, but at the end, the emulator crashes. But here's how you would do it if it were implemented. First, I'll click the middle button. That's the Start button, the one with the Windows logo on it. And then I'll click this arrow. And now Settings region and language, and finally the region format. And now I can scroll to find the setting that I want. It's English United States right now, and I'm going to pick Italian Italy. And when I do, I can see what the default formatting is going to be for that culture. Like for date here, the month comes first and then the day. Then you're supposed to tap here to accept those changes. Unfortunately, what happens in the beta at this point is that the emulator crashes. It says it's setting it, but if you look, I can't click on the search button or the back button. I can't do anything. All I can do is use the toolbar to close the emulator. But that's how you would do it, just not in the beta at this point. So now let's go on and look at something we can do. I'm going to add a text block. and two buttons to my page. Now I'll double click button one and I'm going to paste some code into its click handler. You can see that culture info and thread both need namespaces. 
so I'll right click each one and let Visual Studio add the using for me. These first two lines do in software, in code, what the user can do in hardware on the actual phone, but that's not available in the beta emulator. You could also use this code to change a culture in software to something that's different from the underlying hardware culture if you wanted to. So now I have my current culture set to English US, and using that culture, I'm first going to print out the actual name of the culture, and then I'll print a couple of lines showing how it formats dates and how it formats currency. And now I'll go back to the XAML, double click the second button, and I'll copy and paste this code there also. But I'll change English US to Italian Italy. And now I'll run it. First I'll click the left button, and there's the US, let me make that a little larger so you can see it better. And there's the US English settings, and then I'll click the right button, and there's the Italian settings. You can see that the date shows the day before the month, and that the currency symbol is for the euro, and the commas and the periods are used differently in separating the digits. Now I'm going to give you a link to more information about globalization, and also setting up resources for localization. Here's a link to the main page for globalization and localization for Windows Phone 7, and it has links to more documentation and to sample code. And that's been a quick seven minute look at globalization and localization. I'll put a copy of the code up on my blog so you can download it, and as I post new videos, I announce them on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.